What do I think about Gears 5? The latest installment in the Gears of War franchise. I'm going to cover all my opinions, beliefs, acknowledge a bit of bias, I'll be honest. But hey, these are my opinions anyways, so let's get into them. Spoiler alert, most of it is good shit. So Gears 5. It's Microsoft's latest powerhouse in platform exclusivity. It launched about a week ago now, and I'm, man, I'm just loving it. I started playing Gears back on the 360 when Gears 2 came out, and since then I've been hooked. Gears War has always had phenomenal campaigns that cater to, you know, I would say a more mature audience than most shooters, because, let's face it, all the gore and the story is a bit more... I don't know, it's a bit more dramatic, a bit more of a soap opera, I guess. But uh, yeah, they've always been driven by a great story with awesome action sequences and at times extremely cinematic events. And that started more or less in Gears 3 where the games became more cinematic and they've evolved heavily since Gears of War 3, I'd say. Um, and yeah, Gears of, Gears of War 5, it doesn't hesitate to deliver all of that and more. To your doorstep i would without a doubt say it's better it's an improvement than gears of war 4. you guys played gears of war 4 and you didn't like it i personally didn't think much of it at the time because it was the new devs first game so i, I kind of give them a little bit of leeway there it was their first game as a as their own studio so they might not not know have known what they were doing but uh this game is without a doubt an improvement on gears of war 4 so if that's all you needed to know to pick it up but well, there you go but yeah aside from the campaign it's got a multitude of different modes to choose from this game was packed with content on day one now that is so rare in today's era of gaming and it's such a shame that that needs to be a thing but it's at least refreshing to see that gears steps out of that and delivers a full product you know we've got versus your classic pvp modes that cater to everyone uh, you know, arcade quick play, it's sort of your more chill out modes, you know, you play for fun. Casual quick play is, um, you know, it's the core Gears of War multiplayer experience, modes like TDM, King of the Hill, Arms Race, etc. You know, the mode that you play when you're training for your, for your ranked, for your comp and all that kind of stuff. And then you got ranked, you know, ranked has a playlist for each individual core mode. So it's got its own TDM mode, it's got its own King of the Hill mode, you know. Uh, which I thought was very similar to Halo 5. Next we got a couple of PvE modes. I know like there's so much content man and as soon as I saw how much content was in the game I just expected there to be campaign multiplayer horde mode. But as soon as I saw that add a whole new thing as well I thought man this game has so much fucking content. This is great. I love it. But uh, we've got two PvE modes. Classic horde mode. You know, your basic survival mode against ongoing hordes of enemies. You can build yourself a base to defend up which is very useful or instead you can focus more on buying perks for your character throughout a mat match and uh each character will do different things so you, you might have a character that is meant to focus on building a base or you might have a character that's meant to focus on dps you know all that kind of thing horde has always been fun and uh in this iteration it definitely doesn't disappoint me at least next is escape which as far as i know it's an all new mode and the premise behind it is that you play as a small group of five busters that intentionally get themselves captured so they can wake up in the middle of an enemy hive. Now, I thought that was actually a really interesting concept and uh, that's very creative as well. I thought that was great. But uh, yeah, they wake up in the middle of the hive after they get captured and they plant a bomb to destroy the place and that just leaves the goal to simply escape as the title says the mode is basically a time attack with its own leaderboards and side objectives to back it up and you know i personally thought it was pretty fun the first two times playing it but uh they haven't released a new map yet as far as i'm aware i thought there was going to be weekly maps but maybe that's going to start now that the game's released for all um people and not just the game pass ultimate and that all that kind of stuff but yeah like playing the same map over and over again it's going to get boring eventually no matter what you do so uh, hopefully the new maps will change that as time goes on. Um, if I was to sum it down to a few words, and uh, I'm looking at this this few words, quote unquote, 
Um, and it's more of a paragraph, because as I was writing this, so much just came to my head. But anyways, if I was going to sum it down to, I, I guess, a paragraph, it would be this. This game launched as a finished product, with promises of new content every three months. In today's era in gaming of releasing an unfinished product with sour promises to finish it through DLC or updates or whatever, you know, they slap the new term game as a service on it, you know. You know, what is not to love about finally getting a game again that stands on its own two feet and runs on day one? You know, you don't have to wait a month, you don't have to wait a year for the game to be finished, for the game to feel like it can stand on its own two feet and go a mile. Gears of War 5, it can do that on day one, man. And that's what I love so much about this game. I got this next tidbit about like how today's, you know, today's era of gaming it's just this game is such a testament to what we expect this generation of how low developers expectations are for a game compared to how high expectations are as a consumer and then we oftentimes just get let down by that you know i can name so many examples of games as a service that just just shit on a consumer by releasing an unfinished product. We got Halo 5, you know, Halo 5 re released with fuck all in it, it didn't have forge mode day one, didn't have infection day one, you know, so many cool modes that should have been launched, you know, added a year later, not, you know, it's terrible, and, and you know, it doesn't stop there, we got games like Division, games like Destiny, Games like um, Fallout 76, that was a recent one. You know, all these games, they just release unfinished with quote-unquote promises to finish them later. And it's just such a joke, to my, in my opinion. You know, it's just such a joke. But uh, this game, honestly, guys, I've been getting so much nostalgia playing this game of the golden days of gaming. At least, this, this is my golden days of gaming, to be fair, like... That back when I first started playing online, you know, as a kid in high school. 2011, in between 2011 and 2013 on the Xbox 360, you know, that was my golden era. You know, where games as a service wasn't even a thing. You know, devs didn't even have a choice to release a game unfinished because, you know, the internet wasn't the same back then and hard drive space wasn't the same back then. And, uh, you know, in a way that they, it was good that we, we were so tech technology uh, not advanced, I guess you could say, on console, because it didn't give devs the option to release a game unfinished. But hey, we're here now, so what can we do? All we can do is just enjoy what we get when we get it, right, you know? And I love Gears so much because it's delivered a finished product. You know, I'll, I'll rate it a 9 out of 10 easy. You know, that's just my opinion though, and uh, I highly recommend you guys to pick it up in the Game Pass, if you have the Game Pass, and give it a go yourself, you know, whether or not you want to play the multiplayer, just, I would just recommend experiencing the campaign if you want, because Gears campaigns have always been a 10 out of 10 in my books, they're, um, they're phenomenal, but um, like I said guys, those are just my opinions, I highly recommend you to check it out, check out a Let's Play even, if you want to make up your own opinions. Don't let my opinion sway you or anything, but uh, they're there if you want to look at them anyway. That's me. I'm going to end, end the video now. I've been talking way too long. Go play a game. Go have fun.